Alright, so there's a lot of mechanical keyboards out there, but some people are interested in getting one on a budget. What's up guys, Prada J here and I present to you one of the best 60% keyboards under $50. And just for a disclaimer, this keyboard was sent out to me for a review, but as always, I want to make sure to keep my opinions honest as I wouldn't want to lie to my audience on a product sent to me for free. So a few weeks ago, I was sent the RK61 mechanical keyboard, and if you wanted to buy this keyboard, it would cost about $45 at the time of this video. Which comparing to other 60% keyboards, this is a great price as it's a cheaper alternative to getting a keyboard like the Ampro 2 or a Ducky keyboard. Now in the packaging box, it'll come with a user manual, a plastic key puller, and finally the keyboard itself. Itself, which when it comes to the build quality of the RK61, it's actually quite sturdy with its plastic build. And in my hands, it honestly didn't feel cheap at all, and it actually has some weight to it which is honestly great to see. And the font on the ABS keycaps are pretty normal, they kinda have the gamerish font to them but as always, you can easily upgrade the look and quality by getting some custom keycaps, preferably PBT keycaps. And on the back, there are some flat rubber pads on the bottom of the keyboard instead of rubber feet as the keyboard is built to be inclined normally from its build. And you can find the power switch as well if you plan on using the keyboard in Bluetooth mode, but it would be recommended to use a wired connection through the USB-C port as I did notice that the keyboard would give random delay inputs as I played some games in the Bluetooth mode. Which by the way, this keyboard can remember up to 3 devices to switch from one to another, but I mostly use this keyboard wired as I said before. But let's cut to the chase and talk about the backlighting, which if you guys couldn't tell, this keyboard only has the color orange as its backlight. But I will note that there are basically 3 different models of the keyboard available in different backlights lights, one being orange, two being blue, and three being RGB backlit. And these other models are priced differently, so if you're interested in getting one of the other options, I'll be sure to leave links down below. Now despite this model only being available in one color, there are actually 17 dynamic backlit modes including being able to change the brightness and speeds of the different modes, which you can change easily straight from the keyboard itself without needing any extra software. And you can change through the modes just by clicking the FN key with the backslash key, which underneath the keycaps, I chose to get my keyboard with brown RK branded switches as I prefer to feel the tactile feedback without the loud clickiness of a blue switch. But if you wanted to get this keyboard, it's available in red, blue, and brown switches. Which speaking of switches, I will note that this keyboard is not hot swappable, meaning that you cannot easily pull out the switches and swap them with different ones. But overall, the feeling of typing on this keyboard with brown switches does feel nice as tapping on every key feels complete and registered. But now, it's time for the sound test of the keyboard. So typing on the keyboard felt pretty nice considering the price, but I will note that the stabilizers like the spacebar were kinda loud which I'm not too big of a fan of. But then again, for a $45 mechanical keyboard, I think it's pretty fair. And if you ever wanted to make a keyboard sound more quiet, you can easily spend a few bucks to buy some O-rings as they're a cheap solution for noise. But after going over all that, what are my thoughts on this keyboard? Well, for the overall build, I honestly love it as it's sturdy and doesn't feel cheap at all for its price, and considering the multiple different lighting effects for the different models of this keyboard, I think it's great that you can simply change it using onboard controls. Plus, the keyboard felt quite nice and responsive when used in wired mode. But when it comes to cons, although the RK61 uses onboard controls for changing the backlight settings, you're going to be quite limited in terms of programmability as you can't remap the keys through provided software. And for this model in particular, I know that more people are most likely going to prefer the RGB model over this one as having a keyboard with a single color is not going to look that good in a setup with a different color theme. Also, the the Bluetooth feature on this keyboard could kinda use some work as I did get a lot of input delay while trying to game with it wirelessly. So if you plan on using this keyboard in Bluetooth mode, I would recommend that you don't play your games wirelessly as you're probably not gonna have a great time. And of course, when it comes to 60% keyboards, you are left without any dedicated multimedia keys or dedicated arrows. But some 60% keyboards like this one has some keys with a secondary function if you press the FN key and the key with the secondary function you would want to use. Well personally, I'm not too big of a fan of compacting keys so they have multi-functions, probably because I prefer 10 keyless keyboards as I'm actually able to use each key for its separate use. So of course, it's going to come down to preference when it comes down to keyboard layouts. But overall, if you're looking to buy a budget 60% mechanical keyboard, then you might want to consider getting this one, as it does provide as a cheaper alternative compared to other 60% keyboards like the Ampro 2 for example. So if you are interested in this, I'll be sure to leave a link to it in the description down below. But I think that's going to wrap it up, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's so 
drop a like and subscribe for more quality content like this because I do love making videos like this one. Also, comment down below what you think of this keyboard as I want to hear what you guys have to say and because I do love responding to everyone's comments. But anyways guys, thanks for watching and be sure to have notifications on so you won't miss any of my videos. My name's Prada J and as always, stay classy.